Simply Static includes a super advanced but easy to use diagnostics tool to let you know exactly what changes are needed to get the most out of it. Once you install Simply Static, we do an initial checkup and in case we find any errors, we'll let you know by showing notifications here, here, and once you visit the Simply Static settings page, there's also a message at the top. If you switch to diagnostics, we show you a list of things we found and that need to be fixed. We check for a variety of things. Things like, do you have an SSL certificate, which is needed to communicate with external services? Do you have the minimum required PHP version, which is 7.4 at this point? Do you have the necessary PHP extensions installed to run a static export? And a couple of default checks, things like permalinks, caching, WP cron, incompatible plugins. Is everything okay with your file system? Have we read, write and insert access in your MySQL database? For the preparation of this tutorial, I included a couple of bugs that we will fix step by step. So let's get started. First off, permalinks. You will find your permalinks in settings, permalinks. As you can see, currently configured is plain. So by switching to post name, this should be fixed. The reason we are asking for speaking permalinks is that we can't use parameters in a static site environment. So a URL like this wouldn't just work on a static site, but a speaking URL is not only good for SEO, but also simplifies the static export. Let's get back to diagnostics. As you can see, permalinks are fixed now. So next up is caching. If you have any kind of server-side caching, we recommend deactivating it. We also let you know which plugin might interfere and cause a caching issue. In that case, it's Autoptimize. Autoptimize is also mentioned in incompatible plugins because of the versioning system they use to cache JavaScript and CSS files. So let's switch to plugins and deactivate Autoptimize. Okay, next up, let's get back to diagnostics and scroll a bit down. The issue is still flagged. That's because we cache the results of the diagnostics for one minute. So if you can't see changes immediately, you can always scroll down to the end of the page and reset diagnostics. As we still have a couple of things to fix, I don't do that now. Let's talk about WP cron. WP cron is needed for larger exports with simply static, so we can run the static export behind the scenes. What I've done here is I added a little code snippet where all I've done is setting the constant to disable WP cron. One way to fix it is just flex this as disabled or remove the snippet entirely. Usually it's located in your WP config file. What you can also do if you know what you're doing and you know you wanna use a server-side cron is go to Simply Static, switch to debug, scroll down a bit and enable server-side cron job. In our case, we don't have a server-side cron job so I just disable this code snippet and we're heading back to diagnostics. Okay, now caching is fixed, cron is fixed. Let's switch to file system. As you can see, Simply Static is mentioning that it can't read the temporary file directory. It also can't write to the temporary file directory. And there's an issue with a local directory. That mostly happens if the directory configured isn't available or writable. So let's switch to debug and temporary files. As you can see, I manually added dash error here to cause the error. The default directory created by Simply Static is in WP content uploads Simply Static temp files. So if you have that configured, it usually should just work. 
I save the settings. Then we switch back to diagnostics. We also have an issue in local directory. This error message is only shown if you have local directory as your deployment method configured. As I mentioned earlier, I created a directory called static in my root directory. So let's switch to deploy local directory and make sure we have an existing directory configured right here. Save the settings. Diagnostics. The last thing mentioned here is that there is a file that isn't readable. That's because this file simply doesn't exist on the configured location. So go to general, include additional files and directories. And in my case, this isn't an existing file, so I just remove it. Scroll down to the end of the page, click save settings, and I'm done. Going back to diagnostics, we can now reset diagnostics by clicking on the button below. It will refresh the page and as you can see, the notifications are gone here, here, and also diagnostics. Everything is now green and you're good to go to run your static export.